heart to total. Let's check it out. No matter what, the first thing we're doing is we are reading the question sentence. Everybody start with a question sentence right here. It says, if there are 35 total dogs and cats, how many dogs are there? Look, everybody, what are we looking for? Dogs and cats, dogs. That, that, there's a lot of stuff in one sentence. Can you specify with all this information, specify specifically what are we looking for? Correct. We are looking for the number of dogs. That is correct. So right here, how many dogs are there? So again, whether you know how to do this problem or not, that should not ever stop you in any word problem from literally just looking and identifying what the question wants you to find. Do you see what I'm saying when I say that? Like your skill level does not matter when it comes to identifying the question. Everyone should be able to do that. Does that make sense? And like how you get there, different story, right? Different story entirely. But knowing what you're looking for, that should be no question for anybody. That is easy for everybody. That should be easy because all you have to do is read the sentence. Happy Thanksgiving, Mads, back forward, people. I hope you plan to have a full belly today, but remember to save some room to unlock your fullest ASVAB score. Our ASVAB Black Friday sale is already underway, and hundreds of students just like you already signed up for our program and secured our once a year ridiculous discount. Save 20% on the monthly subscription or 40% on the full year. And again, it's a once a year sale that puts you in the best position to raise your score and get the job you want. So click here or in the description of this video for the details, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB. Happy Thanksgiving, my party people. Let's get to work. So here, we're looking for the number of dogs. I'm gonna say D for dogs. And so let's go ahead, let's read the information, let's see what we got. So, the ratio of dogs to cats at an adoption center is two to five. Okay, let's write that down. Ratio, dogs to cats, is two to five. So I'm gonna write that down. So the ratio, and I'm gonna say dogs to cats, so I'm gonna put dogs over cats, and they say it's two over five. Everybody, yes or no, is that correct? Before I continue. They say that, right? I wrote that correctly. Just gotta make sure I test you real quick, right? All right, cool. So yeah, yeah it's correct, it's correct, because it says dogs to cats, two to five, dogs to cats, two to five, we should be good. Now let's move forward. And write down this one last piece that we didn't write down yet. Right here it says, there are 35 total dogs and cats. So I'm gonna write that over here. So we have D dogs and then 35 total dogs and cats. Excuse me there, whoops. Dogs and cats. Okay, so let's think about this. Everybody, could I write a ratio like this? Could I say two over five equals, so, okay, so two is dogs. So I could put D for dogs and then 35 down there. Would that work? Would that work? Is this a proper proportion? Okay, so I see a lot of yeses and a lot of noes. And again, this is a new type of problem. And again, it can be very confusing very easily if we're not paying attention. So let's just take a little uh, a little accountability uh, moment here. Let's just account for things. Again, if you're unsure, let me give you the power to self-check. That's what this is about. Let's self-check. So here it says, hey, that two up there, that represents dogs. We saw that. We saw that. Okay, so we're good. That D over here, that represents dogs. I'm good there. I'm cool. But just like Jessica pointed out, yeah, 35 is a total. Notice right here it says, 35, that's a total. Let me zoom in. And then five, that's cats. That's cats. Is that the same? Is this the same things being compared in the same way? No. And this is how you can prove to yourself. Like, notice, I didn't give you the answer. This is not the answer. This is the process. And this is a way that we can self-check in the middle of the problem. This is how you can, you know, do a problem and avoid the whole feeling of, Oh, man, I'm three steps in, but I have no idea what I'm doing. It's happened to everybody. Happened to all of us. We can avoid that by understanding the main thing. Compare the same things in the same way. Am I doing that? No. We got to redraw this thing. We got to redraw this. So with that said, remember my piece of advice here. If there's a total included, include the total and the proportion. 
That is the easiest way I can say it for the ASVAB. Yes, there are other problems that you could potentially do it differently, but not on the ASVAB. Every single example, every single one that I've ever encountered on the actual test or a practice test, every single time, the total is always included. Don't have to worry about that. So what that means is this is good. Keep that the same. You need to adjust this. That's what needs to go. I need to take that out. And everybody, what should actually go in? It's the total. The total should actually go in there. If I have two dogs for every five cats, what's the total in that comparison? Seven. Exactly. Seven is the total. So again, if you have two dogs, so let me write this here. If I have two dogs for every five cats, that means my total, let me write that in blue actually, my total is seven. Does that make sense, everybody? How I got the seven? The seven is how I'm going to get that. Because now I'm comparing dogs to total, dogs to total. Now I have an appropriate proportion. Now I have a proportion that I'm proud to use because I know it'll work. So one more time, yes or no? There you go. I see a lot of us saying, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, cool. Let me know if that's making sense to you. Yeah, we added two in the five because total is what we're going for. So Blessing, great question. So let me reiterate a point here. Blessing's question was, how do I know when to change the denominator? Do you know when to change the denominator when your setup is not correct? We saw that we were not comparing the same things in the same way, so we knew we had to change it. Remember that on one side, we had dogs to cats, but here we had dogs to total. Total or cats, one of them has to change. And my advice was, if you have a total, keep it. Change the other thing. Change the other thing. Sounds good, Krishan. Sounds good, Blessing. Sounds good, Angelica. That's right, Savannah, compare the same things in the same way. So now that we're here, uh, everybody, should we now go ahead and uh, kind of cross, multiply, and divide? Or is it going to be a little easier than that? What's your vote, everybody? Horizontal, go the easier way. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely find a little bit of an easier way here, everybody. If you check it out, notice that if I'm trying to go to the answer here, I can try to go from bottom to top, or I can try to go from left to right. Which way is the way that would work? Is it bottom to top or left to right? Which way is it, everybody? Yeah, it's left to right. Notice how I looked at both ways to see where the comparison might be. You could have been like, okay, bottom to top. Can I go from seven to two? Nah, that's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. I, I, I don't, I can't do that. But if I looked at trying to go two to D, yeah, I can go from seven to 35 actually pretty easily. I can do that. And that's actually times five. And here times five. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. And so everybody, two times five is going to be what? Ten dogs. And there's your answer right there. And if you're doing the cross multiplication method, I got you. I'll show you right here. If you're doing the cross multiplication, super easy. Seven times D is 7D. Two times 35 is 70. Then from here, you divide both sides by seven and you get D equals 10. Either way, same answer. Either way, same exact answer. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.